Yevgeny Prigozhin finally paid the final price when it comes to making a rebellion against Vladimir Putin. Yesterday, reports came in that Yevgeny Prigozhin died in a fatal plane crash in the western part of Russia. What really happened, that's what we're talking about today. My name is Max Willman, former fighter pilot in the Swedish Air Force, and let's go. So this is from Financial Times, and they have used uh, several pictures from uh, Telegram channels. Um, many of the uh, Russian military bloggers, PMC Wagner bloggers, etc., use Telegram channels uh, to communicate with their followers and communicate the news and uh, videos and uh, pictures. And this is from the plane that Yevgeny Prigozhin allegedly was uh, traveling on with a lot of uh, PMC Wagner. The uh, Prigozhin is, of course, the was the head of the uh, private military company Wagner that staged a coup against Vladimir Putin uh, two months ago. So here you see a picture of uh, Prigozhin. I think you all seen him by now in several different uh, versions. Uh, a little uh, of the plane rack and of course the plane in question. You see it's a typical uh, business jet. And this business jet has uh, quite often been uh, used to ferry Prigozhin and other parts of the uh, Wagner leadership uh, all across the world to Africa, in uh, Russia, Belarus, etc. And if we scroll down uh, further uh, in the Financial Times uh, article here, you can see a little bit about the flight path. So uh, the uh, downing of this aircraft, uh, the crash happened uh, in the western part of Russia, uh, just outside of Moscow. And I think you all also know that after the coup, uh, Prigozhin was granted a sort of asylum in Belarus. And that he then decided to actually travel back to Russia uh, yeah, I think that was uh, with the with <laughs> quite a stupid mistake on his part, uh, and uh, I don't think that Vladimir Putin would forget uh, such a treasonous act. Uh, here we see another video from a Telegram channel that Financial Times uh, tweeted out. Here we will see the plane coming into the picture just here in a moment, and you will can all make your own assumptions. You see this is falling straight down, uh, burning here. Uh, and uh, these kinds of business jets, they don't have any sort of rescue system like fighter jets, no um, emergency <laughs> flying out of the aircraft or jumping out with parachutes. And with this kind of free fall, that would be very, very difficult anyway. And here's a large smoke plume, and we saw the picture earlier of the wreck. There's also been the pictures uh, tra traveling around the internet on bodies, uh, etc. I will not show them here. Uh, please uh, do me a solid if you like this like the video and subscribe to my channel that helps helps me reach uh, more people and it, it doesn't cost you anything more than a few seconds a time but back to uh, the uh, um, the flight path here uh, so the business yet in question this is from uh, flight rider 24 uh, someone tweeted out this on twitter so follow me on twitter if you want to receive these kinds of updates i retweet a lot every day um, you have uh, a sort of uh, graph here uh, of the fly path. Uh, there's the ground speed and the altitude. So we have a steady climb um, and then uh, leveling out here approximately uh, just below 30,000 feet, which is a quite common uh, cruise altitude for these kinds of uh, business jets. And the speed uh, also quite uh, typical. Uh, so first part of the flight, uh, very normal. You see the time here in the bottom. Uh, so. Uh, but then, uh, also, if you take a look at the vertical rate for this same aircraft, we can see that it climbed uh, all the way up until you have the timings here in the bottom, around uh, 15.10. I think these are Zulu times, yes. Uh, so around 15.10 Zulu, it climbed, and then it stopped climbing and leveled out, uh, presumably at the around uh, 30,000 feet. You can see the vertical uh, rate was uh, zero um, for several minutes, so it had reached its uh, cruising altitude. And then suddenly it did a massive descent and a normal descent obviously does not look like this. It looks more like sort of this, but on below zero then. Uh, so this is obviously a very, very unusual descent and it corresponds quite well with uh, the movie that we saw, this, the small clip of the plane straight fly, uh, falling down like a leaf out of the sky. And this is another uh, picture. Someone has made a 3D picture of how the flight then ended down in uh, the ground outside of uh, Moscow here with the crash. Um, and yeah, it also corresponds quite well with the vertical rate we saw and the movie. So uh, we, I think we can establish that it was indeed flight uh, 02795 uh, that uh, we are talking about here. Uh, and um, quite early after the crash, we had reports uh, from Wagner Telegram channels that Prigozhin was indeed on board on this plane, uh, together with a lot of uh, Wagner leadership. 
and that he had died. And we also saw this is the Wagner headquarters outside of St. Petersburg. Uh, you see crosses here, uh, so indicating that uh, Prigozhin actually was on the plane and died. Uh, it's always quite sketchy to get confirmation on these kinds of things, especially since you can't trust either Wagner or uh, Russia in this case to give us accurate information. But right now everything points to the fact that uh, Yevgeny Prigozhin was on board on the plane and he died. So uh, what actually happened with the plane, we, I think we can establish that it was a, not a normal emergency. If you had a normal emergency, such as an engine flame out or whatever, the plane would do an emergency descent and it would not look like at all like what we saw in the video or in the graphs that I showed you. So some sort of explosion must have happened on this plane, uh, either a bomb or if we are talking about uh, air traffic defense, Russian air traffic defense actually shooting down the plane. Uh, there's been a lot of speculation. I don't know which uh, way is more likely, but I think we can say for certain with <laughs> very, very high likelihood that this is Vladimir Putin uh, giving Yevgeny Prigozhin the bill for his rebellion two months ago. So uh, obviously uh, this is uh, the work of, uh, of the Russian leadership uh, killing Yevgeny Prigozhin. We will see what happens now if uh, Wagner will do anything or if they will just take this and sort of be incorporated into the uh, Russian Ministry of Defense like uh, the Russian plan was all along or if they will try to uh, do something about this. Uh, that remains to be seen and please uh, give me your comments here below what you think has happened. Uh, and I think I will end it uh, there. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you like this kind of content, I will keep you updated. You can also follow uh, my newsletter. I tweet up at, you have that in the description below. If you want to send me a coffee to support the channel, uh, you have my Ko-Fi also below here in the links. But that's all for now. And uh, not, don't fly like precaution. Instead, until next time, fly safe.